Okay, folks, we're going to do something yet again a little different. Um, I recently posted a song called Face the Day by Great White. Or at least I thought it was by Great White. Uh, that's actually a cover. It was originally done by a band from Down Under, as I found out, called The Angels. And it was a great version. I listened to their original. It was fantastic. But it also emphasized what a great cover this really was. So we got some good comments on the song, but a lot of questions publicly and privately on how to play the thing. What were the chords? You know, just show me, show me. And I realized I hadn't done one of those, and I don't tend to see a lot of those around here. So I thought I would take a few minutes and show you how to play that song. I'm not going to play through the entire song. I'm going to have to do some stopping and starting on the CD player here. It'll be a little awkward, but I'll at least show you what the chords are. It's very straightforward. So before I do that, I'm going to borrow the cell phone here, the smartphone from my lovely bride, Dora, who is kind enough to be my photographer for the evening, as she always is. I'm going to show you what I'm playing through. I get asked that all the time. This happens to be a Pod XT Live. I also have a Pod HD 500X, uh, but I'm using XT Live tonight, and I have two channels that I'm switching back and forth. We have this one here, which is more of a clean channel, but right next to it, I have a dirty channel. And I'll be jumping back and forth between those two, okay? And then the signal, in case you're curious, is going over here to a Fender Twin, Fender Evil Twin they call it, 21200 watt, okay, all tube. It gives it the tube warmth. And if you're ever going through a pedal unit like that, you may know this, you may not, make sure that you zero out your bass and treble and dime your mid-range. Okay, you let the, the pedal do the tone shaping. Now I'm cheating a bit, okay? You notice I boosted the bass a bit. I like a lot of bottom end of my music uh, when I'm playing rock, so oh, pardon my cheating. So anyway, let me give the phone back to my photographer. Now I'm gonna show you first the basic chords that they're using, okay? Uh, and this is pretty much through the whole song. So what they're really doing is very simple. It's in A. So I'm going to go up here to the 5th string in the 5th fret and watch this. I'm going to uh, do it normal speed, then I'll slow it down. And that's used throughout the entire song. So in slow motion, you're going... It's just a hammer on, right? And that's hitting these two strings. I'm holding down both the middle strings. And then give the A a little tap. Now I'm doing an A chord. And then that walk down is very simple. What you're really doing, watch this. That note's staying constant. But I'm taking this one. into the heavier parts that's exactly what they're doing That's most of the song, believe it or not, right there. And then we're going to get into a bridge. It's a D chord, by the way, right? You remember that from the previous video? And it goes right back to... percent of the song guys right there okay um, I'll start playing it and just kind of let you see it in action again I don't want to bore you and make this run on too long so I'm gonna have to jump back and forth a little bit here and get this thing going if I can see what I'm doing all right one moment Hello, 
Okay. Go. So a couple of things you saw me do that I didn't point out before, make it a bit more interesting when you go. But you can also do this. I'm hit an open A, okay, and then the D string below it, see? You all know how to do that from Ted Nugent. string very very simple it makes it a bit more interesting and occasionally you can insert another version of a whatever you want just to kind of color the song a little bit and then when you get uh, towards the end of the song let me fast forward this thing just a bit I'll get to playing he said confidently <laughs>
Okay, so I didn't cover any leads in or anything like that, but I hope you got enough. This has been way too long, but I hope you understand the chord structure, exactly what chords. You've seen every chord in the song now. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to shoot me a message. Thanks for being patient with me. Hope that helps. Hope you enjoy. Love you.